what we are going to be doing today is giving these a bit of a run so these are the berkeley fat hollow sandworms so obviously look very very similar to the turtle backs different design obviously the inside of them is all hollow and you'll notice when you rig these up that they basically just slide through you can pin them really really easily we've done really really well on the whiting with the old turtle back so today we're going to stay in nice and close got no doubt we'll tangle with a lot of pinkies especially a lot of undersized ones at this time of year and uh, i thought my rod was going off then and hopefully we'll get into a few whiting maybe a few flathead fat hollow sandworms and hopefully we'll get onto a few cracking fish i am on <laughs> i can hear it going bang 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 That's a whitey. Another one. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and one. So there you go. They do work. So how's that for the intro? We actually just cast out the rod just before I started talking. And there you go. So there is a fat hollow sandworm whiting. So um, that's just over legal size. Fishing with me today is good mate Lee. So he's on to one. He's got a pinky. But uh, there you go. So I'll run you through how we rig these up in a minute. And uh, hopefully we'll get on to a few more Port Phillip Bay King George Whiting, which is uh, just about as good as it gets in terms of eating around here. Good fish. Oh, what is this? This is whiting. Oh, it's a cracker whiting. Whiting. Mate, that's a huge whiting. Yep, Ma so what are we doing? Mark a waypoint. Yep. Look at that. Whew, that's what you're after. All right, so there we are. So we are using the fat hollow sandworms, and there you go. So the whiting, definitely take a liking to them. So that is a really, really nice size whiting. And what we're gonna do now is just mark a few waypoints and uh, see if we can get a few more. And it's grouse catching these fish on soft plastics because they fight hard and they're really underrated in terms of how hard they hit your soft plastics and the runs they go on. And you'll be able to tell the difference between one of these guys and a pinky pretty much straight away. But there is top A grade eating in Port Phillip Bay on a soft plastic with a fat hollow sandworm and uh, we're gonna get him on ice and hopefully catch a few more. Now, hold on a second. Funny how Yeah, whiting. Oh, nice, okay. There we go. Most of the hookups are on that assist hook. So uh, you can see that uh, fat, fat hollow sandworm isn't even there. So they just get absolutely destroyed in the process. So expect to go through two or three packets when you're doing this style of fishing. But that's the end result there. Lots of King George whiting. That's a whiting. Another one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, uh, net. Uh, yeah, it's exactly the same, pretty much the same setup you had. It's actually given a bit more fight than might what be a little whiting, you know. It is. That's a pinky. That's no, a pinky, yeah. You want the um No no that's okay, but that's a oh actually you know what? that's a it's a better fish than what I thought it was gonna be. Actually that's it that's not a bad fish. There you go. Look at that beautiful pinky. And that was just on the fat hollow sandworm which we're testing today. Look at that though. They they just don't last these things. See you matey on your way. There he goes. All right, so I'll show you how we rig these up. Now, you will notice from previous videos that we've done, 
we like to use those jig heads with the assist hooks because what you'll find with whiting is a lot of times they'll come and they'll munch on your soft plastic but they'll only take the bottom half of the soft plastic where there's no hook so what we do is we run the normal jig head and then an assist hook about six centimeters down and what you'll find is your catch rates improve greatly because as they come and suck on that soft plastic they're also going to take the assist hook and that'll pin on the side of the mouth all right so the way that we rig these up is we grab one of the fat hollow sandworms and you'll notice these will slide in very very easily because they are hollow on the inside and you're basically just sliding that up there's no resistance at all and when you get to that point there where the top of the head meets the i guess the fatter part of the jig head that's when you then pin that through and you'll notice that will just slide up perfectly and see how that's nice and straight you don't want it where it's all curled up and everything so that there is perfect and then what you want to do is then grab your assist hook and you want it so it's basically sitting like that there pinned in so this can be the tricky part so what you need to do is just put that on a slight angle and then on the same side slide that so that way the full hook is exposed and there you go there that is the perfect rig setup and what you can see about that is it's dead straight so you haven't done it where it's on an angle and trust me, if it's angled, it won't swim properly. So the straighter you can get it, the most hook exposure, and that there is a whiting killer. Well, that's a good one. That's a better one? Yeah, I think I'd, come on. Oh, big flatty. Oh, that's a good fish. There you go. You know what, that's great. There you go. So there's a nice flathead. Well done. Awesome. Yeah, it's a good whiting. Oh, that's a oh no, it's not what the hell it's, it is. It is. Is it? Look at the colours. That's a grass. That's a grass whiting. That's a that's huge, huge grass whiting. Look at that, mate. That's a massive grass whiting. That's amazing bait. Okay, so today we are just fishing in three to five meters deep. One of the best things that you can do is as you're slowing down your motor, is just look over the side. What you're looking is for your really thick weedy areas and your clearings of sand. And those sand holes hold whiting, and obviously those weedy zones hold uh, squid, pinkies, flatheads, great grounds. And as I said, we are fishing Geelong today. This whole stretch of Curlewis banks, so pretty much all the way through to Geelong, way past St. Leonard's, hold all of those species. So King George whiting, which is our primary target, species pinky snapper squid flathead snook salmon and a lot more so it's really really productive grounds here you can cover lots and lots of area keep making lots of little moves if you're not getting onto the fish Hang on. <laughs> that was a massive hit that's the... yep that's on that fat hollow that's a big pinky are you serious that's not even big, it's not man. even that big i'll lift him up mate that's all right sure. What the hell happened there? He went on a huge run. It was funny, just as you said it, and I thought, oh, here we go. Uh, he's not even a keeper after all that. Okay, so these soft plastics are obviously not very durable, very much like the turtleback worms. When you get a bite, you're gonna find they're all chewed up into all sorts of pieces, and quite often you're gonna be replacing them. Surprisingly, we've probably found that they don't get quite as chewed up, especially on the tail section as much as the turtleback. So expect with a lot of these soft plastics is catch rates, very, very good. Durability, not so good. I think as we're drifting, it's just, uh... oh, oh. Yeah, it's chilly that breeze. And... I'm getting hits. Yes? Yep. Good work. What, what, what? Yeah, it's a whiting. Do you want to do you want to anchor? Yeah. Oh, so both that... on, both on. Oh, no, no. Is that on? Yeah, but oh. I mean it's just the point, yeah, let me. Yeah, and then and then maybe we'll burly up hard. I got one. Yeah. There we go. It's a big puffer. And the puffers on a stinger hook are a nightmare. Right. Has it? Yep. Look. Oh. Yep. Do you know what? They all sit in one spot. Oh, that's a better size. Yeah, that's a good fish. Done, mate. Come on. Well, you're doing a bit of work on this one. Oh, mate, this is a good fish. That's a big whiting. Is it a big whiting? Yeah, that's a big oh. whiting. Look at this size of that. That would be a comp winner, Lee. Look at that. Oh, that's a big hit. Oh. <laughs> Mate, we're on fire now. And whilst you're bringing that one in, I will cast one in that same. Oh, I'm on, I'm on two. Oh, that's a nice whiting as well, Lee. Yeah, that's a good. Oh, mate, they've come that's on strong. 
Yep, gotcha. Oh, a good one, Lee. Yep. Yep. It's a drag tightener one. You be doing? Yep. There's another, another respectable one. Oh, there you go. There is no shortage of these beautiful King George Whiting now. So they're just starting to come on strong. So this one's just over legal size. So we'll give him a measure. And if he's okay, he'll go on the esky. If he's a bit small, then he'll go uh, back in the water. I, th I think just, oh, oh, on the plastic. Oh, oh, I've got one on the plastic and this feels, is it, oh, it's swimming towards me. No, what? Mate, that went off. It's not on anymore. You got a good one, eh? <laughs> you're on again. Mate, they're on fire at the moment. We're gonna have to change the battery here anyway. Oh, mate. Oh, no, he's only Willie. Come on. You're saying come on with me? Yep. Good job. He's on. This feels okay, too. Yeah, there's another keeper. That. There we go. If we were to cast one this way, we'll get nothing. If we cast one out the back, we're getting nothing. We're casting this one tiny little radius of about 10 meters, and every single cast we're getting widening between 30 and probably low 40s. So it's uh, it's all about finding that patch. Yeah, see ya. Right there is where I reckon it is. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's still getting ahead. Oh, they're, they're around that spot, mate. Look, look, look. You're unreal, mate. It's amazing. It has to be that exact area. To go towards and the white boat. I will in a sec, yeah. Oh, no, he's, he's, no, no, look, he's hidden it. Oh, oh <laughs> sorry. That is a good fish. <laughs> mate, that was that was like striking a marlin, that, wasn't it? It was a bit over the top. Hey, they're all solid fish. Look at this. You're on as well. Yeah. Doubles. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to lose it. That's a solid whiting. There you go, there's another. Again, absolutely mental now. It's a whiting, a cast, which is lots and lots of fun. Uh, combination of bait and soft plastics. There we go. Leads on to another. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God, we've got doubles. And double hook up here. Look at that big whiting here. And, and look at that double hook up, guys. Is he still on? Yeah, he's a good one. Well done. Oh, yeah. Oh, he might be this way, mate. Look. You can see that. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's a, okay, that was mate. a good strike. Uh, Definitely the rod. That's it. He's just sized. Yeah, he's just sized that one. Here we go. Let's see. That's what it's been like as soon as we're casting. It's just been a widening a cast. It's been non stop. Unfortunately, we're going to leave them biting, which is probably the worst part. And there you go, there. There's another. Have a look at this poor guy here. So, look at that. You can see. I reckon he's been attacked by a squid there. So uh, what we might do is we might let this one go. So he's definitely a legal size whiting, but I think he's had a tough enough life. So see you matey, off you go. All these King George whiting, it's pretty much a fisher cast. They're smashing soft plastics on the drop. They're smashing baits on the drop. Um, I am, before I forget, I am gonna mark this spot. You on? Yep. Good man. Point three. Looks a tad small this one. All right. Um, but you don't need to. You don't need to not get the <gasps> hole. You don't need to. Oh, 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 oh. What's happened? Big squid. Hey. Huge squid just followed my jig. Yep. Like a oh, here we go. Got one, got one, got one, got one. Here we go. He's only a small one, so I reckon we can lift him. Yep. 
Actually, it's not too bad. Look at that. He's gotten a bit bigger. It's, uh, oh, so, yeah. yep. you're on? Too, yep. Doubles. I'm going to yep. set you. Oh, yeah, this is good. No, nah, he's all right, mate. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Job done. Well done. Good work, mate. Well done, mate. But so, yeah, get him on ice. So, yeah, as soon as they change colour to white, yep. they, they're good. Straight on the ice. All right, so we're going to get to move these guys. So, mate. And there you go. So, that's uh, beautiful eating, mate. Well done. Do we need... Um... Oh, we've got another one. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, so, what I'll do... Yep. Uh, grab, grab the net. Yep. Actually, I might be able to lift him. If you want hey, me to yeah, lift. Yeah. No, he's all right. I can lift him. Here's a good one. There we go. So how come they don't squirt? No, they will. It's just it's just luck. Generally, when you catch one, you'll catch a few straight away. Oh. Yeah, it's a good one. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice squid. You want to net that one? Yeah. All right. Now, the best thing is you come on this side yeah. and then you net from behind because see how they do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so... Oh, just, that's all right. Get the net right and he'll... There we go, he's in the net. That's a good squid. That's the squid of the day, I think, mate. So he's still inking, look at him. Yeah, look at that. That's a good one. Yeah, great. Oi! Yeah, but see, he's only squirting. Yeah, water. There you go. There is a good squid there. So beautiful. Great eating size. Look at the eyes on these things. Awesome. Might just be. Yeah, it's a squid. Look at that. There we go. Straight on the. Uh... On the mark. Yep. Or is that a. Oh, you know what? It's a... No, it is a squid. Look at this. Oh, there you go. Not a bad day. He's in the office at all. Look at that. Absolutely jam packed full of whiting and squid. So we're going to be eating really, really well over the next few days. And uh, there you go. Good fishing. All right, well, that's a wrap, everyone, and thanks for watching. Out here, fishing in Geelong in a harbour, we've kind of proven that, obviously, you can catch those target species you're whiting using those fat, hollow sandworms. Not very durable, but the results are there, and it's been a lot of fun out here. The weather's been a little bit hit and miss, but this is generally a pretty good time of year, so we'll be back out again fishing more and more. Great time for whiting and lots of other species too, so we look forward to seeing you out on the water sometime soon. Take care, everyone. Uh... Chuck that there, what to do? This one's there. If you enjoyed the episode, then become a Fishing Mad member. It's easy to join by visiting www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash member and gain access to an online portal that's full of helpful fishing content, including detailed workshops, fishing reports, rigging tutorials, podcasts, giveaways, competitions, maps, gear reviews, sounder training, exclusive videos, and much more. It's a great platform and helps to support everything we do at Fishing Mad, so become a member today.